What is going on guys and I am vibing to see you back here once more at the Nottingham Forest career mode series and today without further ado we're getting straight into some match time against Liverpool. It's going to be probably the challenge of our season. It's at Anfield, we're up against Jurgen, it's going to be a match to end all matches. Imagine the scenes there are going to be if we scrape a result in this match, but let's get into it. Tony Kroos for Liverpool is having a very good season so far. Fabinho and Tony Kroos in midfield, that just, it just shouldn't be allowed really, should it? It's just disgraceful behaviour from, your, and Hendo, and Hendo, it's just... Yeah, this, this Liverpool team is too good. Just too good. Mariba on a mission. He's looking for space. Oh, and he gets tackled by his own teammate. And unfortunately, we release the ball into Liverpool's possession. Hopefully, that is not going to cost us too much. But Fabinho is making a rampaging run forwards. Tony Kroos find Sadio Mane, Bobby Firmino, oh my word, the passing is just too crisp and Liverpool take the lead at Anfield and it's that man Tony Kroos, we were talking about him before the match even began but so much quality, so much quality, he passes the ball, he finds the space, he finishes the chance and less than 20 minutes in, Liverpool already on the score sheet. This could be a very long night for us if we're not careful. All right, I'll just keep running. <gasps> oh, how close was that? It was just too easy. Talbot just was charging through the box. Not a single Liverpool defender looked like they wanted to put a challenge in. And we had a go. Ooh, that's, that's, that's giving me encouragement that has. Oh, the Liverpool passing is just so quick. It's so quick, you cannot even get a grasp of it. But Jewsbury Hall gets a really nice looking ball out to Johnson, but it's a little bit behind him. It's okay though, we have men forward. We get it to Jewsbury Hall. Talbot's in, he shoots from literally two metres away from the goalkeeper and still he cannot score. Oh, should have gone... Far post, really. I thought I saw an opening at the near post, but Alisson was premeditating that shot. But we still have the corner for the advantage to be taken. Here we go. Here we go in towards Captain Warren, who's been so prolific from those corners. Oh, my word. Halls is on the ball. Oh, the ball is just flying everywhere at the moment. Talbot will take the long finesse. Oh, and just over the crossbar. Once again, a very promising attack from us but we just cannot get that clinical edge Mane who of course is now a Bayern player but very much a threat for Liverpool today and what a clear not clearance but what a block on the line from Brandon Williams that was a goal saving block because Samba was nowhere near that ball Jewsbury Hall now He's finding some space, which opened up for him. He has a little go, but we do retain the possession, which is always good. Oh, my word! Oh, my! Talbot, what have you just done? No, no. Did I really just witness that? What a finish. Goal of the season without a doubt that is not getting beaten all oh my days felix talbot of course the og youth player our star our future star he's gonna be oh my word he's gonna be up there in a few years competing for the ballon d'or it just has to be doesn't it because he's just too, too good too flipping good it's not even fair it's not even fair that we have a player that's that good. Oh, can we go 2-0 up? Oh, my word. In about five minutes, we have turned the game on its head. Antonio is going 
for a very chilled celebration, but really we have absolutely silenced Anfield. They cannot believe what is unfolding before their eyes. The Nottingham Forest taking the lead. Liverpool now behind. Oh my word, this is huge. This is colossal. Times for us to make our substitutions. And of course, Morgan Rogers is going to be coming onto the pitch as has become custom for this career mode. We'll also take Johnson off and give Maiten a go on the park. Maybe for a bit more defensive solidity, we will bring Varela on into the midfield and we'll actually go to instructions and we will tell Varela to firstly stay central, but also we want him to stay back while attacking. And then we'll have Dewsbury Hall up there with the strikers. And yeah, I think those tactics are pretty, pretty neat. Ooh, good ball. Good ball. Sadio Mane is going to get there. I didn't know if he had enough pace, but why did I ever doubt him? Diogo Jota now. Oh my word, what is happening? Have we just saved that ball? Samba's there again. Don't let it go out for the corner. Or oh, it just trickles over the line. Just by the barest of margins, we hold on to our one goal advantage. That was not even the impressive save. The impressive save came just before that. The ball was pinging everywhere. Somehow Samba got his crucial body behind the ball, but Liverpool, they take it short. Okay, let's see, Tony Kroos. He's been dangerous in the, ma in the match so far, but at least he is not in our box. At this point, Samba, makes another crucial save. This is where you need your goalkeeper in these kind of matches. And look at all that space for Torba and it's a delectable ball out from oh, Dewsbury Hall, unfortunately. Torba just doesn't have the dribbling skills to hold on to the ball. It is less than three or four minutes now until a historic victory beckons. Unless, have I just jinxed it? I've just jinxed it, haven't I? Oh my word, Sadio Mane. He ruins the party. He comes in, he saves Liverpool from what would have been absolute misery. He's probably rescued them a point. And really, it serves me right for my high and mighty Oh, we only have three minutes to survive now. I mean, it was, I was just asking for it, wasn't I? But, you know what? We'll take a draw against Liverpool at Anfield. We'd be absolutely bonkers not to. And there we go. That is full time. We do not take the loss. We extend what is becoming a fine run this season of unbeaten matches against the top, top clubs. I think we've had United, Arsenal and Liverpool now all not winning against us, which has to be a victory. It's a big victory for us. It's another point in the bag. It's another point away from the relegation zone. Yeah, we're happy. We're happy with that. And now time to fulfill our press commitments after the match so you must have thought the game was won what happened well I got a bit too cocky in it um but yeah we're happy with the draw I don't want to be too negative about it we have to take it on the chin we're not expected to win at Anfield by any stretch of the imagination so we just have to be happy with that we have to be happy with the draw. I don't like these media getting all negative on me. Does that feel like like an point gained or two dropped? You need to work on your grammar, son. And guys, next up is Aston Villa in the Emirates FA Cup. And we love a bit of FA Cup on this channel. We're really gonna go for it. I've never ever won the FA Cup on a career mode on YouTube. So I'm really feeling like this is going to be the jam this year, but let's just check our calendar. We have a whole week until our next fixture in the Prem, which is absolutely ideal. Means we can play a very, very strong team. But you know what? I'm fancying Morgan Rogers to start up top today. There's no reason why we can't make a few cheeky 
little changes here and there. Maybe in midfield, could we freshen things up a bit by bringing in Varela for Dewsbury Hall? Yeah, I think that could work. Anyone else that we want to give a go to? Actually, I fancy playing Panzo in defence, so we'll swap him out for Courtney Halls. Actually, we could play Panzo at left back, then we'll still play Courtney Halls because Brandon Williams is fairly tired. Maybe we'll bring a couple of boys onto the bench. We will bring Morrison onto the bench. We will bring Parker onto the bench instead of Antonio. And I think that looks pretty nice for this next one. We're going to play it and we're going to win it. So let's get on with that. Good interplay here. Mariba, he's looking for space. Oh, he'll get it to Jed Spence. He'll cross it in first time. That is a juicy cross. So close. If that had just stayed inside that line, I'll tell you what, I think it was Johnson coming in on the left-hand side to poke it in. It would have been a beautiful goal. It seems like Aston Villa are playing a bit of a second team today. There are a lot of names which I don't fully recognise, which could be good news for us because it could mean, oh, that we have the upper hand in terms of quality. But Morgan Rogers is going to get it out to Panzo, who's not the best crosser. And he's not the best passer either. Oh, so we end up losing possession really frustratingly. And Young has got ahead of... Oh, my days. Get that away. That's disgusting. Oh, man. Don't chip me like that. That's just rude, isn't it? I don't even know who this lad is. And he's chipped Bree Samba. Number 43. Oh, my. How low can you go? Ah, oh, we can't lose this match, surely. Aston Villa are playing their under-19s. Oh, no. Not again, not again. Oh, my days. It's young once more. 2-0. What is going on? This Aston Villa team is not good. We're playing pretty close to our full-strength team. They're giving us an absolute walloping. I need to take responsibility for that goal. I must say, the defending was uh, very poor. Oh! Oh, my word. Okay, we're back in it. I wasn't even talking before that because I had zero expectations that that was going to go in. What a goal from Mariba, who's really becoming a workhorse in our midfield he is so good he's so good what a finish as well and it's an oh sorry that's an own goal that's just rude why would you at what point was that an, sorry i need to check this at what point was that an own goal let's have a look let's have a look so let's change the view let's put slow speed where did the own goal bit happen Oh, oh, it was going wide and it took a deflection. Wow. Just, just allow it. Just allow it. Just allow. Oh my, what is going on? Oh my days. No, I pressed. Oh, I pressed the clear button. Oh, just. What? There's no words. There's, I'm actually straining to find words, right? What is that? What is that? It's beyond human understanding. How? Just, just why? Why is this happening to me? What? Oh, man. Okay. Right. Right. Half time now. We have nothing to lose at this point, do we? We're just going to get knocked out if we don't do anything. So, yes. I think we're going to take Yates off. We'll bring... Jewsbury Hall onto the pitch or actually we've got Mariba here we'll just take Yates off and we'll bring Surridge on up top that's actually decent I rate that and then we're going to bring Larea on for Panzo who's a bit more sort of attacking we might also bring mm, I think we'll leave it like that for now and we're also actually before we get on with it we're going to change 
the tactics, we're going full constant pressure. Constant pressure, we're having forward runs, more players in the box. Oh, come on. Oh, Surridge. Oh, what is that? That was just terrible. And Villa look like they're about to score again here. Oh, if we're not careful. And, oh, finally we get a bit of luck. Trezeguet misses an open net. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Mariba's in. Mariba shoots. Mariba scores for his second of the match. We're back in it. We're back in it once again. If our defence can just hold up. Not really sure why he's not celebrating there, actually, to be fair. You know, we are still behind in this match. We're still losing, but that is a beautiful finish. The snapshot first time into that same corner that he found earlier. And actually, to correct myself, that is his first goal of the game because the first one which he fired goal Woods was, was an own goal. But he takes the, he takes the full credit for that one. Oh, Torbert was just running in to an open door. Once again, I'd expect him to have a better finish on him than that. Oh, pass it backwards. Oh, not quite, not quite. Oh, oh, Torbert, he's in, he shoots. The ball's everywhere, but in the back of the net. And once again, Villa, by the skin of their teeth, hold on to their lead. But here we are, Halls is going to regather possession for us former villa man of course mariba now has the chance to run forwards he does so he gets it into surridge back to mariba back into surridge this is good play is anyone in the box for us not really oh oh talbot is there and he blasts the ball he loses his composure at the vital moments and that's chance Number two, really, since we scored that second goal, gone a begging. Is it going to be that we're going to get another bite at the cherry? Probably not, unless we get the ball back right now. Come on, Ings, just give us the ball. Stop being a spoil sport, Buendia. Come on. Oh, get this forward, please. Please. Oh, and the ref calls time. We run out of minutes to get that draw. Aston Villa take the win somehow. Not really sure. I'm really first time this season. I've been really disappointed with the f performance. It's just Aston Villa. They've played a team that was far inferior to us in terms of quality. And we've just really, really, really blown it. We've blown the chances of FA Cup glory. And I'm angry. I'm angry. Those boys are going to be getting an earful in the dressing room. So next up, rather disappointingly after that FA Cup, oh, disaster. I'm still venting. I'm still venting, guys. It is Crystal Palace at home, who have a pretty decent team. I mean, look at that. Torreira, Elise, Zaha, Mateta, Ayu. That is very, very good quality. And somehow they are only in 18th. But seeing as they are in 18th, I think this is a good opportunity for me to quick sim the match, which I have not done for a little while. Crystal Palace get the victory. But to be honest, I just want to get on with finishing this transfer window. We have money to spend. We have players to sell, possibly. So I'll take the loss. I'll take the loss. And we've had a financial report um, and okay that's that's interesting it says uh, earlier in the year we set out to invest in the long-term quality of our squad by purchasing young players we've now received our preliminary financial report and we can confirm that we've met our agreed targets thank you for playing your role in helping Nottingham Forest grow so which one was that sign at least three young players? Was that the one? Sign one young player. Yeah, okay, I'm not really sure what that was referring to, but okay. Hokey dokey. Now we really need to sort out our transfer situation. So let's take a look at our transfer hub. Let's take a look at who we can bring in. We looked at Musa Niakate in the last episode. 
I fear we're not going to have enough money to make that deal go through. Esri Cons are very much in the same boat, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to make a central uh, central defense, sorry, signing. Let's take a look at some of the options in the wing position. We could move to have Kaiki on loan. That would give us more depth in the wing positions. You know, that's, ooh, that's a good shout, that is. It is a good shout. I think we will look to loan Kaiki and that will give us more cover in the wing areas of the pitch because I mean at the moment we have Talbot and Johnson and then not much else. I think the next player after that is Mighton who is a very big drop in quality so if we can bring on basic terms for a loan for Kaiki, Kaiki we will go for a one-year loan or should we go short term we'll go short term till the end of the season i think that's the most realistic we will look to split the wages 40 60 because they are quite a lot and they're happy with that so let's see if keiki will accept the loan and who else are we going to bring in a midfield i think we're going to go for morgan Gibbs White because he is much more that attacking kind of midfielder he has good dynamic stats let's take a look he has decent ball control decent passing his finishing and shots could be worked on a little bit let's take a look where's his crossing his crossing is also all right I think he's still quite young he could still improve will they allow us to loan him as well no, they do not want to loan him. So let's go in to buy, spend some money, and that will give us more cover in central midfield. So let's, actually, we could really take advantage of this to get rid of some players that we just don't want anymore, such as Oyeda. We will offer a transfer fee on top of that of maybe 5 million. See what they say. 5.5 million. That's a really good deal. We'll take that. We'll take that and we get rid of a player that we no longer need. So really, Morgan Gibbs-White is going to come in as the replacement for John Joe Shelby, who we sold earlier in the window, which is decent. We're happy with that. And he only wants a rotation squad role. That is good for me. Five-year contract length. Also really, really good stuff maybe we're not going to keep him forever but he'll definitely be here for at least a couple uh, seasons now his wage he's probably going to want a similar wage to what he is on at Wolves so we'll offer him 50k and he's happy with that a 3,000 pound per week increase and Morgan Gibbs White is on his way to the forest let's make sure he has an adequate squad number and let's get him integrated into the team and he's assigned the number eight by default which is I believe the number that John Joe Shelby had. No I like the number eight for him. I think the number eight could work out nicely and in terms of our first team we'll bring him in here instead of Larea and already our bench looks much stronger now. We just need that replacement for Mighton and we'll look all the better for it. It'll just give us that much more depth. So let's advance a few hours, see what beautiful surprises are waiting in store. And there we go. Kaiki has agreed a short term loan to our club, which is another great great signing. I mean, we're having to make quite pragmatic signings at this point in the season. We weren't able to get Nia Kate in, which I would have dearly loved to have done, but we've got to be happy with the business that we are doing. We have another player loaned in. I think we can give him the number 11, can't we? That is ideal. And then let's bring him in here and we'll swap him with Surridge. 
Then we'll have Maiten, Kaiki, Surridge. There we go. Our bench is really shaping up now. Maybe is there room for one more defender that we can get? Maybe another centre back. Let's rummage around a bit and have a look. And guys, I have found a very interesting looking player here. Thomas Tavares from SL Benfica. You know what? He's a he's a fullback by nature, but I reckon we could tr we could uh, train him into a centre back. I mean, take a look at some of these stats. His agility is not that great, which doesn't lend him to being a fullback. His strength is very good. He's six foot two, which is really good. He's decent size, one hundred and sixty nine pounds. That's quite heavy. And take a look at some of his stats he's got good stand tackle that defensive awareness could be improved but i reckon he's a good option so let's approach to buy because we might as well use up the funds that we have and we'll offer a transfer fee so how much do we have to offer i do not want to offend them and actually I don't need to save any money because he's going to be the last transfer. I'm wondering, is that going to be acceptable? Okay, they want 10 million. Let's negotiate this down a little bit. Let's go down to 8 million. But we will give them a sell-on clause of 10%. See if they accept that. No, they want their 10 million. They're being difficult. Let's go to 8.5, because if it's much more than that, we're not going to be able to afford it. 8.5 million. We're going to have no money left. Or, or actually, can we go for a player swap, maybe? That would be decent. Let's see. We could potentially do Sam Surridge. We could do that. Because, mm. I mean, he's not even on the bench anymore, I don't think. Let's go for Sam Surridge and we'll propose a new transfer fee of 8 million once again. Let's see. This is going to go one of two ways. They're either going to accept it or they're going to reject it. And they take it. Okay. Okay. I know that's a bit dramatic, but Surridge is literally sitting in our reserves now. I think he's played one game in the last 10. Ooh, this is big. This is big. Let's go. I'm so excited for this signing. He could really be a success. He wants an important squad role. We'll take that. He wants five years. We'll take that as well. No release clause. No, sorry. We're not having a release clause. I don't do those. We don't do those here in England. And, ooh, they want a big wage. Or they want a big signing bonus. Let's... Take this down to 200k, shall we? So we can afford it. Oh, this is really pushing our budget to its limits. Oh, no. No, no, no. I didn't want to give him... Oh, I did not want to... Oh, I need to actually look at things every now and then. What would... What did I just do? Oh, mate. Oh, that's painful. That is painful. No. Oh, I hate the way you can't negotiate for a week when you've done that. I didn't mean to do that, mate. I really didn't. Oh, I just wanted to lower his signing bonus. I didn't want to change his wage. But because it had used the maximum amount of money, it automatically did that. Oh, that's so annoying. And you know what? We're going to end the episode here because I'm out of ideas. I need to figure something out. Oh, that's so annoying. So annoying. I'm, oh, I'm so vexed right now, but okay. Okay. It's not been a terrible episode, guys. We've had a really good result at Liverpool. And then we've lost two games in a row. You know, it could have gone better, but it's not been awful. It's not been awful. And thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, hope you're enjoying your summer or winter if you come from Australia or other areas of the globe. And yeah, until the very next video, stay awesome, do bits, and I'll see you around.